Good morning. Now we are going to see about amplifiers synthesis in multimedia. Amplifiers are used extensively in a electronic circuit to make the electronic signal better without affecting it in any other way. It does this by taking energy from a power supply and controlling the output to match the input signal shaped by with a large amplitude. In this sense, an amplifier modulates is the output of the power supply to make the output signal stronger than the input signal. An amplifier is a electronic device that increases the power of a signal. There are two types of signals. The first one is input signal. Uh, it is a signal uh, which goes inside the electronic system. The next one is the output signal that comes out from an electronic signal. There are various types of amplifiers used. The first one is class A amplifier. It has a low efficiency of less than 40% but it has a good signal reproduction. The next one is class B amplifier. It is twice efficient than class A amplifier with a maximum efficiency of 70% because the amplifier device only conducts conduct half of the input signal. The next one is class AB amplifier. It has the efficiency rather be between class A and class B, but it is having a poor signal reproduction than class A amplifier. The last one is class C amplifier. It is the most inefficient amplifier class and only a very less production of the input signal is amplified through, therefore, the output signal bears very little reassemblance to the input signal. The next one is synthesis. Synthesis is also called as electronic sound synthesis mechanism that electrically generates and modifies sound frequency with the use of a digital computer. The types of synthesis are the first one is addictive synthesis. It builds sound by combining several waveforms. The next one is Subtractive synthesis, it uses oscillator to generate waveform, then shapes them with a filter to remove or boost specific frequency. The next one is frequency modulation synthesis. It creates sound by modulating one waveform with the frequency of another. It also includes a sound such as piano, string and organ. The next one is physical modulating synthesis. It is a synthesis of sound by using a set of equations and algorithm to stimulate each sonic character of an instrument. Starting with the harmonic that makes up one itself then adding the sound. The next one is linear arithmetic synthesis. It is a form of synthesis that utilizes sample of a waveform and subtracts synthesis of the rest of the Envelope. The next one is sample based synthesis. It involves digitally recorded uh, sound uh, with a short snap of sound uh, from a real instrument or other source and then play it back at different speed to produce a different picture. The next one is component of a synthesis. The it is it converts analog signal to digital uh, signal. The first one is oscillator. Oscillator typically produce waveforms with the different timbers. The next one is voltage control filter. It is the shape and the sound generated by the oscillator in the frequency domain. The next one is envelope generator. It provides envelope modulation to shape the volume or harmonic content of the product noted in the time demand by the principal parameter uh, between the attack and the uh, delay. The last one is voltage control amplifier. It, it controls the volume of the uh, analog signal. Thank you for watching.